Hi guys, in this third video on Microsoft Access, I am going to introduce the concept of creating relationships between tables. Uh, so in the second video we created a table which I called Customer Financials. Basically it's got a customer number which is a unique identifier of each record. Uh, the customer's first name, last name, date of birth, salary, and whether they're female or not. Um, and then I created a table uh, called customer contacts which just has the customer's number and the customer's telephone number. Okay, so as we can see toggling between these two tables that um, the customer number is common to both these tables. See customer 15, customer 15, customer 22, 26, and 35, 22, 26, and 35. Right? And so this is a kind of a hint of a way of the way uh, required to create a connection, a link, a relationship between multiple tables. And of course we're going to just start with the plain two tables as making a simple connection and understanding the ideas behind it. So we need a field that's in common with each of the tables, in this case customer number, that's going to allow us to connect these two fields together and make a, if you use math lingo, a one to one correspondence between the two tables. Now just note one thing which will come up in, in, in about a minute that the customer contacts table has one extra record than the customer financials. Customer 72's telephone number is here, but customer 72 doesn't exist on the financials uh, table. Okay? So that's just a little side note. Okay, so now let's close these tables just to keep the work area clear. And let's go over to database tools. We're going to create a relationship. So click relationships. And here we started with a blank slate. And so first thing you want to do is show tables. And here we're going to add both of our tables just by double clicking. Then what you do is you grab from either side. You grab the field, which was, remember, customer number that's in common with both tables. And you drag it over to that same field in the other table and then you let go and this little dialog box will pop up and basically at this point you can go over to join type and here there's three types of relationships the easiest and the most the default one is number one only include rows where the joined fields from both tables are equal so in our case customer number equals customer number in each field. If we click OK, then just say create. It creates this little link without any arrows. Notice there's no arrow here because later we're going to have arrows. Okay? So we've created our relationship. Now we could hit close and then anything we want to do with queries and uh, forms and, and such will already have this relationship built in the background. Okay? Now we can do a little example of a query just so I can show you, but the video on queries will be coming up shortly. Okay, so here's just a little preview. So I close this relationship once I created it, hit save, and then I go to create query in design view. I add the tables, close. You see the relationship is already there, that link is already there. Okay, and don't don't actually to worry too much about queries right now because I'm going to do full videos, multiple videos on creating different types of queries. So here it's just to show what a relationship is for. Okay, a little preview. So we've created this link between two tables and now I want to make a query and use this relationship to get the telephone number and let's say the last name and salary all in one view. So I just double click on those. There's already this connection between the two and then I click on this exclamation point over here in the top left called run and voila we have items from 
the uh, customer contacts table mixed with items from the customer financials table in one view okay and the way I was able to do that was I already had created the relationship between these two tables and so I was able to uh, select the fields that I wanted from each and pull them in together okay well, let's go back to design view this theme of design view data sheet view uh, is quite common so get used to it in tables and queries and forms and reports okay so now going back let's kill this query say do not save going back to the data space tools relationships we can manage our relationships and adjust anything let's say we wanted to make this relationship instead of A one uh, only include rows where the joined fields from both tables are equal to two. Include all records from the customer contacts table and only those records from the customer financials where the joined fields are equal. So basically, if you remember, the customer contacts table had an extra uh, record, an extra customer, customer 72 which the customer financials did not have. So if I choose two, all records from customer contacts will appear in any query I do, but the records from customer financials, the only ones that they will appear there are the ones that join with the customer contacts. Now let me, it's very wordy, and until you actually do an example, it's hard to, to uh, visualize. And before I leave this, because I don't want to come back to this, three is just vice versa. All the records from customer financials will show, and only those from customer contacts where the joint fields are equal will show. Okay? But this will come up. Let's just touch on this, and then this will come up again and again. So we'll choose two. Hit OK. Hit OK. And you see there's an arrow from the one where all of the, from the table where all the records will show to the table where only matches will show. And what does this mean? You see that little arrowhead. Let's close this and to see what this means we have to create a query. Okay. So again, don't get too caught up with how to create a query. I'm going to do this in subsequent videos and do multiple tutorials on this. Okay. So let's double click our two tables. And here, you can expand this a little. Let's say I want to do the same thing, the telephone, last name, and salary. Okay, so there's going to be one slight difference from the last query that we ran. Let's run this again. So, so notice in the last query, this uh, what I highlighted is what we got, whereas in this query we got what I highlight, what we got last time, plus the extra record, which is that customer 72 from the table uh, called customer contacts that wasn't in the table customer financials. Okay. Don't worry too much if you didn't fully understand this. The most important uh, and most uh, used uh, relationship is the one we did first, which was the, which was the uh, selected first in the. I want to pull it up for you. Number one here only include rows where the joint fields are uh, from both tables are equal. So that's the most commonly used. And that's the one we're going to use mostly in all our queries that we'll do in subsequent videos. But I wanted you to be aware of, of the second and third joint property options. Okay? So what this means is that we connect to sum up. We connect two, two separate tables. Right? Here's a table and here's another table. We connect these two tables via a specific field which is in common with both those tables in this case customer number and when we connect these two tables we've created a relationship between the two tables and we're able to take fields other fields from each table and merge them into queries and other tables where we might need to see all that data in one view Okay, so I tried to create a real simple example so that it's uh, the what's going on is real clear. Okay, 
be sure to check out the, uh, the, the uh, previous videos I've done on Access if this was a little bit over your head and uh, um, I'll do multiple videos uh, on, on how to create a query and using these relationships. These re this is not the end of relationships. It will come up uh, over and over. So don't be too flustered if uh, you didn't get it right away. Okay? Be sure also to check out my Excel tutorial videos and comment, subscribe to my channel, and practice, practice, practice. Have a great day. Thank you.